Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I bring you this look that I did specially for Valentine's Day. If you guys are planning to go out with your special someone or if you want to dedicate this day for friends and family, this is definitely the perfect look for you guys to try. Today I'm using the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette and I absolutely love this palette because I think it's so sweet and at the same time it has like a little rebellious side on it. I paired it with a nude lip. Um, I do give you guys another option for you guys to try and then it just, it'll be just based on you guys, whatever you guys would like to try. But uh, yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next video. We're going to start by applying a primer. I'm going to be taking this um, Estee Lauder, the Estee Edit Pore Vanishing Stick and I'm going to be concentrating that mostly on the areas where I have pores like right over here. For foundation, I'm going to be taking a combination of the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I am in the bay, in the color 108 um, Caramel Beige. And I'm also going to mix that with the Becca Luminous Perfecting Foundation in the color Medium. I'm going to mix that in the back of my hand and apply it all over my skin. I love this combination of these two foundations because the Becca foundation is more of a luminous finish. Um, and at the moment my skin is a little dry so I really like something that makes my skin look dewy and uh, glowy. The Infallible Matte Foundation is going to give me that full coverage because the Becca Foundation I find that is a little light. Combining these two foundations is like combining like two awesome foundations that I really love. I'm going to start blending it also with my Beauty Blender. This is the Black Beauty Blender. <laughs> gonna take the wet and wild concealer in the color medium tawny and apply it on the highest points of my face and so now I'm just gonna be setting everything with uh, my Too Faced cocoa powder a cocoa powder foundation in the color tan I like this to give my skin a little bit of color just because of um, sometimes the foundation can make me look a little flushed out I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in the medium and I love to do it with a stippling brush because I find that it blends in a lot better. It just, it just looks a little more seamless. I don't know if you can see that on camera but it just, it's just blending beautifully. Do the same on the other side. Feel your face, sort of like take your fingers and kind of like touch where your cheekbones are, where they start, where they end, where you have the hollows. Like that it helps you visualize and understand where your contour or your um, bronzer should be. My technique would be to grab the bronzer and to actually do it a little above that little hollow. It kind of looks like it's lifting the bones. I'm going to take a little bit of the Benefit Hula bronzer and this comes in one shade. For my complexion, however, it is a little more on the grayer side, so it actually helps to um, it helps as my as my contour. Moving on to blush, I'm gonna be taking the Milani blush in Luminoso. I just purchased it about a week ago and I tried it and I loved it. I'm gonna take it in a brush. This is just a Coastal Sense brush. It comes in um, a uh, it comes in a gift set and. I don't know if that gift set is longer available, but the Coastal Sense brushes are on point. I'm gonna be taking an oldie but a goodie. This is the Bobbi Brown uh, Shimmer Break Compact in the color bronze. I'm gonna be taking it on a fan brush also from the Coastal Sense brush set. Put that on the highest points of my face. Take Max Fix Plus and I'm gonna spray it all over my face. I'm going for a more soft, romantic look on the eyes. So I'm going to be taking the uh, Naked, the Urban Decay Naked 3 Eyeshadow Palette. Initially, I didn't like this palette as much because I'm more of a, like a smoky, very bold eyeshadow look. I've learned to appreciate this palette because it's more on the neutral side. So it actually looks very beautiful. I'm going to start by taking a fluffy brush. 
and take this eyeshadow right over here. This eyeshadow is called Limit and I'm gonna blend it into the crease. I'm gonna take slightly darker than the original shade that I grabbed. Also on the same fluffy brush and I'm gonna concentrate outer V. I'm gonna take a much smaller brush. I'm gonna go for a halo eye effect. I love doing a halo effect on my eye just because it makes my eyes look a little more romantic. And I'm gonna go in with that same fluffy brush and I'm just gonna blend everything in so that there are no harsh edges. Go in now with a flat eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna take the lightest shade, which is gonna be this one right over here for my brow bone highlight. Taking on that same brush, I'm gonna be taking Dust, and it is a pinky eyeshadow, second to lightest color, and it has a little bit of a shimmer, and it's gonna give us a nice effect on the lid. Concentrated directly right over here, where we didn't add any eyeshadow. I'm gonna take my Fix Plus, and I'm gonna spray my brush. I'm gonna take the same eyeshadow. What the Fix Plus does, it makes the eyeshadow stand out a little more. It makes it gives it that like foil effect, so that it looks a lot more shimmery. I'm gonna go in with the NYC uh, Automatic Eyeliner Waterproof in Black. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes with my eyelash curler. For the bottom lash line, I'm taking Limit and Nooner on this small brush. The lashes that I'm gonna be using are the Vinci 100% Human Hair Lashes in the number 415. And I'm gonna apply it directly onto the lash band. And this little tool that I'm using here for my lashes, it's the Velour Lashes Tool. If you see it, it looks like this. So that you can hold it and just place it in your eye. Just makes it look so seductive, you know what I mean? Like that, we have lashes on! I'm gonna take a little bit of the same mascara that I was using. For brows, I'm gonna be brushing them into place. So I'm gonna take the Anastasia Powder in Medium Brown. It's the Brow Powder Duo. It looks like this. A little busted, but it works. This is the Sephora Collection. I lost it. Sephora Collection Lip Stain, Cream Lip Stain, and the number 13. Okay, so this is the first option. Another lip option that I have for you guys is this Milani lipstick in 29 Teddy. Teddy Bear, B-A-R-E, the Rimmel London Moisture Renewal Lipstick in the number 705, Let's Get Naked. If I were to be wearing this look, I would definitely pair it with this, with this lipstick. But it's all optional, it's up to you. Thank you guys so much for watching my video today. I hope that you guys get a little bit of inspiration for Valentine's Day. And if you happen to recreate this look, tag me on my Instagram account, which I'll link in the description box below. You no, know, they definitely capture your attention. Am I capturing it now? Yeah.